tossing and turning relentlessly and I know you'd be lying if you told me you were fine and you've been screaming in your head swallowing the words that I know you would have said if you would just breathe oh my heart is tangled all around you when you've got trouble i've got trouble too oh my life is arm in arm with you when you've got trouble i've got trouble too So what, what, what do you need? I'll kiss you awake when you've had a bad dream. And I'll tell you a story, make it up as I go. Or I'll sing you a song that I know that you know it goes my heart. is trouble I've got trouble too all my life is arm in arm with you when you've got trouble I've got trouble too you and I live like the tree and the vine so delicately intertwined I'll ease your pain cause you've eased mine oh my heart my heart it's tangled all around you when you got trouble I've got trouble too oh my life is arm and arm trouble I've got trouble too I was 14 my parents went away on vacation and left me and my brother home with our grandmother it was the first chance I had to sit down at the piano and sing at the top of my lungs without worrying if my parents were listening in that weekend I wrote my first song and unknowingly started a lifelong love affair with writing music and though I couldn't really comprehend it then I can confidently say now that I'm at my best when I'm expressing myself through music and working out my feelings through music Beyond the cathartic nature of writing a song is the physicality of singing, the deep cleansing breaths, which I'm not quite getting at seven months pregnant at the moment, <laughs> and the vibration of the notes moving through you. It's therapeutic. Have you ever been on a road trip and the windows are down and you're belting out your favorite song? Then you know the feeling that I'm talking about. But whether or not music is your, your thing, I believe that we're all at our best when we have an outlet maybe running, painting, talking to a friend, but having that safe space to express what's on your heart and what's on your mind is invaluable. When you think about all that we take in on a daily basis, the news and social media and just the general stresses of our everyday life, without a release, all that noise can take such a toll on our mental and physical health. And the aftermath of the pandemic is all the proof that we need that our mental health is delicate and it deserves to be prioritized for the sake of our overall well-being. The song I just played you is called When You've Got Trouble and I wrote it when I was dating a guy who dealt with a lot of depression. I wanted him to know that I saw him, I saw his pain and I empathized with his struggle. Because sometimes when we're in a dark place we just need to know that someone sees us and understands us. 
Lately, I've been using that song at shows as a reminder to say, hey, check in on your loved ones. My husband and I have a quick little check-in system we use where we'll say, how's your head, how's your heart, and we'll score from one to 10. And it's just an easy way to show support if need be. Because not everybody wants to write a song about how they feel. <laughs> I'm gonna play you a song called Unraveling. Um, I was a songwriting major in college, and we were asked to write something honest. And I'd written enough honest breakup songs to last me a lifetime, so <laughs> I decided to dive into uncharted territory for me. And I wrote a song about my grandmother who suffered from Alzheimer's disease. She lived with my family for several years, and with each passing day, she recognized us less and less, and she drifted further away from the woman that we knew her to be. So writing this song ended up being therapy that I didn't even know that I needed. But without having an outlet, I still think the pain would have been living in me so much larger than it lives in me now. And now my hope is that by sharing more personal songs that my music can become someone else's outlet, that whoever listens might feel understood and seen. Boxes and baskets of all her old things Porcelain dolls, portrait paintings She swore they'd be worth something They're just gathering dust in my attic somewhere And she's lost in a room where she sits and she stares Her mind is blank as the As vacant as the halls And I'm the only daughter Of her oldest son I knew her well before Her spirit was gone And her life is a thread Woven into every part of me And she is unraveled she is unraveling She looks in my eyes and asks me my name And every five minutes I tell her the same She smiles, but it's cold and dead and I'm screaming out loud Well, 
I'm going to leave you with the title track of my latest record. This is a song called Funeral for My Past. I wrote this when I was going through a particularly challenging time in my life, and sad songs and angry songs were written, but ultimately I could not seem to break down the wall of protection I had built around myself. Um, I was so closed off. I was guarding myself as if to say, I, I'm never going to feel that emotionally low ever again. But in reality, I was robbing myself of the opportunity of experiencing life's greatest joys. So I was folding laundry one day when I realized the only way I was going to live my best life is if I learned to let pieces of my past go. I thought, how can I lay my past to rest? I need to have a funeral for my past. That's the idea I landed on. And that struck a chord within me, so I, I put down my socks that I was folding and went over to the piano, and this song came pouring out. We all have a past. We all have stories that we carry with us. Stories about our self-worth and where we fit into the world. Stories that are not always positive or productive. They can stand in our way. So this song is an invitation. Put your story into it whatever you're holding on to that no longer serves you, whatever you want to let go. Obviously, we can't let go of all of our baggage in three minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> I wish. It's a daily practice. But I just wanted to use this opportunity to encourage you to find your outlet, your journal, your garden, your safe space to work through whatever's gnawing at you. A place where you can find peace and clarity that then allows you to share your best self with the world around you. Now this song requires some extra voices, so if you wouldn't mind singing with me. I'll say, uh-huh, you'll say, hey, hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Uh-huh, hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. I held a funeral for my past today. Laid it in the ground where it's meant to stay With the roots, the dirt, pain and the hurt I held a funeral for my past today I got down on my knees, dug up a mighty grave Made room for all the darkness, the anger shame so deep it never haunts me gone forever and always i held a funeral for my past today uh -huh. hey yeah hey yeah hey yeah uh -huh. hey yeah hey yeah hey yeah while i've been cutting roses Never thought this day would come Me and my shadow We were living as one Every day I tried to fight it My demons always won Till I stopped fighting Till about it just watching it die right there as i stood right before my eyes up from the ashes up from the ashes my feelings still rise uh, hey 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 So come gather round, what will you lay to rest? Whatever kills you slowly, don't give it one more breath. Let it go, let it be, let it rest here in peace. Lay it down at the funeral for your
your past today. Ah, uh, hey, 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 here's your funeral. Hey, 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 flowers for your funeral. Hey, 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 ah. Uh, 